And here we are back. Welcome back in 2014. No, not welcome back. Welcome. Hi, my name is Gabriel and we're playing Baldur's Gate 2. And this time, this part. Throne of Baal. Uh, the end... The ending, a part of the project I started in April 2013, that was last year. Uh, we'll be playing one of my favorite expansions. And a literally a game that when I first beat it, and it was something around 2002, I think. Uh, I literally cried, really, when the Baldur's Gate 2 saga, Baldur's Gate saga, finished, uh, and I first time played it with my, it was not my first char character for the whole saga, but the character that I beat at Shadows of Arm and Throne of Baal with, with that guy, he was a dual wielding elf uh, ranger. I don't know that much. Uh, I, don't re I remember that much. I don't remember the uh, first. I think uh, the first part, my part, my first party in this game was Minsk, Jahira, Imo, and Iri. Someone was there too. Either was it Keldorn or uh, Veligak or Tala. Aside of, uh, but that's on a side note. What's important is we're going to play. I'm going to play with the character that I, of course, with Kaelin who was uh, quite a successful character with our party. In the upcoming episode we will have a fun character who will join us. Some of you probably know him. Ah, screw it. It's Saravok, the antagonist of the first game. And he will join us in Throne of Baal. Uh, I will give a little exposition on, on him and what I do think about him uh, in the moment when we, when we reach the, that part where, where we will have to make some choices concerning him. Uh, among the expansions I played, I think Throne of Baal is uh, one of my favorite. Uh, I, I, I can't actually say which one, but among the first three, first five, uh, certainly. Uh, one that I think I like even more, especially concerning the story, was uh, expansion to Neverwinter Nights 2, the first one, Mask of the Betrayer. I will do maybe a special episode about this one, uh, because I don't think I will do a Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights, because that game is a little bit uh, unlet playable, <laughs> let's call it that. Uh, now, what's going on? We will not jump to, through this menu here, to Tron of Ball, because I want to continue I don't want to lose the experience we gained from the final battle, which means I will load the game and Shadows of Arm, beat the final battle and start recording the moment when the game shifts from Shadows of Arm to Throne of Ball. It's a very simultaneous shift uh, and, and it's uh, something that the game design um, really, it really adds to the game. Uh, What's the plan for the LP? Because that, that's one thing. That's one thing I really want to stress out. Uh, the, the expansion is uh, sort of a has sort of a two um, two parts. First one is the story uh, when you fight uh, the five children of Baal, uh, and the second one, and of course the first one is also ends with the ending of the whole saga uh, with the big confrontation. Uh, and a and, and stunning epic fight. And then, of course, the epilogues. But there is this big dungeon. Helms Deep or Helms whatever. I don't know what is the name of that place in the English language version, but it's a big dungeon. Uh, we will possibly... And I think I will go... Uh, I will do the dungeon somewhere in the middle. Uh, it's a very long... <laughs> Uh, dungeon and uh, actually when I was uh, preparing and, and s saying things about uh, this project in Baldur's Gate 2 Let's Play in Shadows of Han, I was I have to admit I forgot about this big dungeon and it will span a few episodes at least like maybe 10 I don't know so let's jump to the game then shall we
There is no peace for a child of Baal. You've learned this lesson time and again, as all who are close to you suffer because of your tainted blood. When John Irenicus fell, you had hoped for some sort of respite. But peril follows you like pestilence. The time of the prophecy has come. Five powerful ball spawn have arisen, leading their armies across the sword coast, slaughtering their weaker siblings and innocents alike in a wave of massive destruction. Like wildfire, panic spreads before the armies of the Five, and those suspected of being children of Baal are cast out and revived. Even in Soldanesilar, unease grows into fear at your presence. Queen Elysim urges you to visit a sacred grove where the ancients might shed light on your fate. You wonder what part you will play in the dreaded prophecy and how long before its culmination devours your soul. Only one thing seems certain. So long as Baal's throne of blood stands empty, chaos shall reign. And more or less, that's it. That's how uh, we start this. Chapter 8. We're in a what grove. Do you, as you ask. Let's first of all go through uh, all the things uh, we <clears throat> we have to see. First of all, we we have the equ equipment. When it comes to yeah, well, there's, there are things we need to sell. That's for sure. Quite a bunch of them. Be honest, we have Seldarine's amulet, Al Al amulet of Seldarine, whatever the name is. Al Alcim gave us to a to a for saving the tree of life. Blah blah blah. Protects the wearer against all forms of enchantments and spells. One bonus to saving throws and plus ten for magic resistance. Actually, it's not as good as this one because this one, yeah, decreases spell casting and yeah, immunity to level drain. It's more or less better, which makes us, which gives us a question: Who should get this amulet? Uh, actually, Imowen would be a nice idea because one extra second-level spell is nothing particularly good at this point. This 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 thing is very good in the first game, um, and this plus ten bonus plus one saving thrones would give her what? Yeah, already she has already ten bonus from. Green Ring of Gax. And bonus to magic resistance. So yeah, that's she gets that. And this thing will most possibly sell because it's not that good. And it was on her uh, neck for quite a long time. Uh, we are here uh, on the map. If you go, what's yeah here? Let's go to the map. This is uh, the new map. Uh, we are south from Am. These are this is Tether basically, uh, and there are s things we will visit on this map. And the Watcher's Keep. That's the freaking name of that thing. Watcher's Keep. That's the big dungeon. You can go there even from uh, from s uh, from what's the name of that place again? Uh, from Shadows of Am, of course. But doesn't actually make sense now. Uh, considering. Does anyone have anything we need to... Yeah. Uh, Edwin. I might give you one of those. Invulnerability. Armor class sets to 0, saving trunks plus 5 bonus. It's actually quite nice. Let's give the, this... Oh, can't use it. I'm sorry. It's usable only by warriors, it seems. So you get those here. And a bunch of... Or, yeah, or maybe these. Uh, Jahira, our little friend Jahira. We don't have much bullets left. These we'll give to Edwin. We'll sell them later. Well, actually, there's not much we can do. Just show me my spells. Nope, we lost some spells. Because the game decided to be a bitch and remembers the spells I used yes? when I bought my 
time fighting Irenicus. And we're 75 days into the game, so... Uh, around... Two months this took us. Uh, so let's sleep. Nothing will happen here. This place is quite secure. Uh, was there anything else? I don't think so. So let's go to the act to the head that actually will talk to us because that's the one. Uh, then there will be a fight, and we will fight one of the five. One of the five. Um, one of the five. Oh, what's the hell? What's the name of her again? Illa Sarah, yeah. And she is one of the five children of all that the intro spoke spoke of. We will meet all of them, and they are uh, siblings of the main character, as you probably know. Uh, some of them are really fleshed out, some are really boring. But now the prophecy. The wheels of prophecy here turn. Orion's ward has come. Crossroad of past, present, and future. The one foreseen, the one foretold. That which has passed is ne'er truly gone. History repeats, though mortals choose not to see. War and bloodshed be not new to the realms. A god that once has been, may be once again. Armies march and cities burn, the rivers froth with tainted blood. The corpses of those born not innocent feed the inferno of boiling hate. All servant deceived, five led down a false path. A hidden traitor lurks in thy midst. The servant of Baal knows death and destruction. The face of an ally, the mask of the foe. The children of Baal bring death to the land. They slaughter each other and feed their father. Death and betrayal walk together. A river of tainted blood doth not cleanse. The storm approaches. We speak no more. What I actually love about this uh, this prophecy here is that when you play the game and when you replay this thing, uh, you see quite clearly who he's speaking about. Every single line in this. Uh, Forest Spirit's prophecy is correct, and it will be seen later. And uh, that's one thing I really like about games, because you can actually make prophecies work in a game. Not to mention that I don't like prophecies uh, as a uh, you know storytelling tool. Uh, but Bioware did a tremendously good job here, and that means we know someone is coming. Someone approaches, and judging from what the spirits have said, it is likely that there is hostility intended. That there is hostile intent. You must prepare for battle. The game even Maybe. literally sell, says to me, says what we should do. Now, the thing is with her that we don't actually need that powerful no what do you uh, approach towards her, because uh, this girl that we will fight, she's far from being very difficult to, to, to deal ready. with. Maybe this time we'll use this. Yes. Edwin, go in. Uh, someone in the middle, please. I think we'll be again. No, 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 no. Not this. This. Yes. Some lesser. What is it now? Smaller little uh, protections would be nice. As I said, we don't need that powerful approach towards her because she's far from being what perfect. As an enemy, unless you add a modification, there is a mod that makes her else. tougher, much tougher. Actually, even changes her uh, what do you require? her abilities, if I remember correctly. Oh, I was not able to do this. Some mercenaries so, are around us. I have found you at last. It was an effort to track you down in these woods. Too many old wards for my liking. But here you are. Oh, great. This is Illa Sera. she's one of the five. And who are you? All that you need to know is that I have been given the pleasure of ending your life. I may yet mount your head on the wall with all the other ball spawn I've killed. I haven't decided. Oh, what a shame. Uh, you hunt dark blood sp uh, ball spawn, why? 
Isn't it obvious? I am Baldspawn myself, dear man. Not all of us have been wandering for mm -hmm. him like witless cattle. Like you and pathetic Imowen and so many others of Bald's blood. Some of us have far greater aspirations. Maybe with you, but your ambition, dear little girl, ends up on the end of my hammer. The time of Alondo's prophecy has come. These rhyming ghosts here should have told you that much. Great things are afoot. And your contribution will be your death. Actually, the other it way has around. It's already been decided. I am Illacera the Quick, child of Baal. And I have been chosen to perform this deed. You cannot resist us. <laughs> and now a line that I always have to use. So others have said you're dead now. They are dead now. That's something typical. Mm -hmm. Who are you working with? I shall stop whatever your plan is. No, I can't. And you are a fool to think otherwise. Yep. We shall see. Kalen. Here they go. They well, some Black Raven guys. They are nothing, are to be they honest. Are and I won't use those powerful spells on them because there's actually no point. Yes. I go against Elisera, you deal with this guy. Uh, Jishira, deal with this guy out down here. Imoen, when it comes to you, how will stun on her? Yeah, now, now this, this, no, really? This is all you can do, guys. Oh, she's going injured. Both one are dealing with themselves. And this guy is the last one. And he was. What happened to him? I have no idea. Now we need to be quick. At least take those things. Other guys, they don't have many good things, to be honest. Even if these things will be transported with us to the place where we are going. Because the game decides to do this quite quickly. I you, God child. You who are of divine blood. I have awaited you. You know where we are, don't you? Yes, your guess is correct. We're in hell again. <laughs> uh, it wasn't actually that that long <laughs> when we were here last time fighting Iranicus. Uh, but we were brought here again uh, against our will. But this time, this place will become a much more, much more. Uh, where am I? And am I dreaming? How would you define a dream? If as a fleeting path without true substance, then this is no dream. I have brought you to this place, and it is real. Hmm. Okay. And what was the purpose of that whole thing? I have existed since the first strand of fate was woven, a servant of the paths and the gods. Hmm. I have watched your own path most carefully. Oh, my path is so freaking awesome. Our own servant, who was the mortal Alondo, spake the truths that became prophecy. It oh, tells of your okay. and of all the others who are the progeny of Baal. The spark of the divine rests within all of Baal's children, and the time for their joining is nigh. I am here to aid you, God child. Aid me? Uh, this is Solar. Solars are. Uh, uh, kind of divine angels, as you can quite clearly see from his appearance. How do we know this isn't... Uh, what is this place? This? This is the lair of the Abyss, once ruled by your sire, Baal. You have been here before, although it was altered then by your own consciousness. Okay, you mentioned helping me. Tell me how. I cannot interfere. Mm -hmm. I can only prepare you, Godchild. Aid in your education. You who are most unready to assume your destiny. Oh great, now the destiny talk again. What do you mean by that? I mean only that you are unready for the possibilities that await you. Oh great. Your mortal mind does not readily comprehend the power in your blood. If you say so. When you were last in your sire's realm, godchild, 
it was altered by your own consciousness without you even forming the intent to do so. You are not ready for the power. But I'm a person who, op who, who pursues power, actually, because Kaelin is evil. You must be ready. It is your presence which determines the outcome of the prophecy. Okay. Although even I cannot see it yet. When the time comes, you will be ready. I will make certain. Mm, tell me what's going to happen. Power comes with knowledge, Godchild. Okay. It shall come to you in time, as your destiny unfolds. I shall see you soon. Until then, hold your heart close, and know that you are not alone. Yeah, we I have my friends with me here. Go away. So, you and have here finally is. arrived. I have been waiting for you. Saravok. This guy was the brother, the child of Bal, uh, and actually the first child of Bal we had to kill. He was a very powerful leader of what was called the Iron Throne. Uh, the whole plot in the first game was very nice. He did some really nasty things to us. He ravaged our home, he killed our father. The thing is, he, he knows. He knows a lot. Saravok, what are you doing here? Get away from us. Saravok, by the sacred oaths of Sylvanus. Is there no end to you? Must you fa must your fallenness be stamped out only to return even more? What can you what can you want with us? Oh, it is you again. Well, I suppose it holds true that a good villain never knows how to die properly. First couple of times, eh? Silence! I have waited for Kaelin. My words are for him only. Okay, brother. Did I kill you the last time I was here in hell? You did, indeed. Although, that was no fault of mine. It was you that summoned me, then. Even if your words... even if the words were my own. I have done nothing but attempt to reform myself since. As you will recall, it is you, your will, that shapes our father's realm. Whether you are aware of that uh, of you, you do or not. I myself am nothing now, but in the shadows you see by the shadow that you before see before you. He is dead, that's for sure. And at the moment he is quite good. He has minus 23 uh, armor class. I, I, I did a check on that. And not to mention that when he, he's a powerful guy, really. Well, shadow or not, I'll destroy you again. Now he is quite immortal. That doesn't explain what, why you're do what you're doing here. I wish to make a deal, naturally. I have little to lose, dear brother, and plenty to gain. Which, from his perspective, that's actually true, because he's dead. And he will, of course, offer some way of, of uh, being alive again. As do you. And I have waited in your home a considerable time to parley with you. My home, what are you talking about? You, you do not know where you are. You did not come here on purpose? Aha! <laughs> what a bitter irony this is! You who stumble uh, about nearly blinding, uh, blind to your true power, continue to survive with I, Saravagam, reduced to this. Bah! Very well, Kaelin. I shall tell you where you are. You are within our father's Abelsol realm, brother. That plane, once ruled by Bal and now shaped by the taint, Presents in your soul, present in your soul, uh, but no longer present in mine. Yeah, when 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 a child of wild dies, the spark and this as well goes to the source, to Baal himself, or to the place that was the center of Baal's domain. You have been here before. This is a this is a a cocoon of sort, a miniature version of our father's larger realm, sort of a plane within a plane. I assumed your mind formed it to protect you from the power of this place. Rather in a in genius, dear brother, I wouldn't have thought you'd had it in you. Regardless, I spotted it forming and guessed it is it, it, at purpose. So I came here and waited, knowing that eventually you would come, and that uh, then we could discuss my deal. Ah! I can't just... Uh, I can just imagine the kind of deal you're letting... Uh, ...has in store for you, for you, Kellen. 
I've met a deal or two of that sort myself, said Corgan, and I always try to impersonate his voice, because he's a bloody character, bloody in a literally, literal and metaphorical sense. What do you think I would want, dear brother? I wish to exist, I wish to be alive again. You can do that. The smallest fraction of your soul, my brother, given freely, with the taint of our dead father within it, that would recreate my flesh, restore my mortality. Saravok would, li would live again. I killed you once before, what makes you think I would want to return you to life? I did not come to the table empty-handed, Kaelin. You think me fool? You are stronger than me. I do not contend that, but I can help you, and that has its pri and that has its price. And just how is it that you can help me? There is the knowledge. There is the knowledge of how to leave this plane of yours, Kaelin. That is one thing I can give you. Although I did not know that when I came here. Nah, no. That I, what I offer to you is knowledge that I must. Uh, that I'm that is much more relevant something that dates back to the mortal days when I was gaining power within the Iron Throne Iron Throne to those of you who don't know and possibly some of you know um, Iron Throne was a merchant uh, consortium very wealthy group of people who deal with with trade and uh, he used their wealth their influence the political leverage to, to gain and build his his own uh, political power, something that will that you will find most intriguing. I know where your destiny lies, Kaelin. I know where you must go to find it. Search about on your own, and it will soon be too late. The time of the old prophecies is upon us, or upon you, at least. 